Hello, welcome back to our YouTube channel. Today we are going to see the four step problem step and the stocks. So let's read the problem statement. Staff has started learning about the stock market and already selected a private stock. He traded the stock for n consecutive days. Let AI denotes the profit and why staff on the i today. Note that AI less than zero indicates that staff had a loss on the i today. Staff wants to find the uh, Steph wants to find the maximum amount of profit he would have earned if he skipped trading for exactly one day. Okay, means he has to skip one day, like either he has profit on that day or loss on that day. Okay. Both conditions are possible, but he has to skip one day and wants to earn maximum profit. Okay, so let's see some example to understand. So in this example, in the first example, we have one minus two three okay so he has to skip one day so what he can skip this one this is the least value and this will make the loss because of negative thing so add up of one and three will be four that is the answer if you consider another example four one five one okay this is the case so in this case what you have to do you can skip this day or this day. You can skip these two days because these are, these have same values. So you can skip either one. So if you skip this one or this one, like let's suppose you skip this one. So answer will be 10 here. Okay. And you have to add all those. Then we have 10 minus 10 minus 10. Then again 10. So lowest value, they have to choose the lowest value. Lowest values are this one and this one. Okay. This one and this one. So you can take this and this and you can skip either this or this. So let's suppose if you skip this one, then 10 and 10, 20 minus 10, that will be 10. Okay. So that's right. In this case, we will skip minus 5 because this is the least value. And for this question, you don't need any vector or anything. What you need to do is directly input and add all elements in the answer variable. Okay. In the answer variable, add all variables, all the inputs, all elements. All elements you have to add okay add then what you have to do you have to find the minimum number for minimum number what you can do while taking the input you can define a one minimum number that is the int max and you can update this minimum number with basically this m a this is the minimum number and this current number that is suppose a is the current input okay so you can update this mn in the last and the most important condition is that if this mn is less than zero that means you need to add in the answer what you will add add answer plus equal to absolute of this mn okay because it already contributed negatively so we can neglect this by this step and after that like if mn is not negative then we need to minus minus equal to because that is counted extra mn so this answer will be of final answer and in the initial step you have to add all elements in the answer so you can write it in whatever format you want okay so hope you understand this solution like this video subscribe the channel and keep coding